Hi everyone, my name is Sylvia Wairimu, Group Water Treatment Engineer at Davison Shatley, and today I will be taking you through the daily AML uh, chemical dosing unit. On the box here, we have the manual. Next, we have the dosing unit, the dosing pump. fittings that we will use for installation, two tubes, delivery and sanction, more fittings. So the daily seco chemical dosing unit, it is an electric chemical dosing unit that we use for both industrial and domestic application for dosing of chemicals. Uh, one of the features that we can see here is an adjustable knob where we can dose our chemical depending on how much chemical we require in the line. Number two, we have the, the sanction and the delivery part of the pump, which I will show you how we will assemble the whole system until it's ready for installation. Then we have a valve here that we use for priming, just like any other pump. When you are starting to use the pump, you require to remove air from inside. So this is where you remove your, your air from inside. Then we have an LED signal that shows us when we have fault. It indicates red when we do have any faults on the pump during operation. Together with the pump, we have two hose connectors. So we have the delivery hose. Remember, as you can see from the appearance, we have two that they, they look slightly different. One being the heavier quality is heavy duty and the other one being lighter. So the lighter one is the sanction and the heavier one is the delivery one. This is made heavier because it is pumping chemical to a line that is under pressure and therefore at certain points when this is weaker, then it may at times burst. Then this is the foot valve. This goes on the final fitting. This goes on the wall or any surface that you require to fix your pump. So I will begin by assembling the sanction side of the pump. You can cut it to your convenient length depending on where you're getting your chemical from. Start with this, followed by one of these. You can push this in. Push this in. This goes on the sanction side. The lower part is our sanction. gently ensure that this is tight so that you do not have any chemical leaking from this point then we will now assemble the delivery side if your delivery side is longer and you require to take it far more we have this in stock as a spare so you can procure a bigger and a longer pipe whenever you require this is less flexible again the same setup, this followed by this, the sanction side, the top part being the sanction. So, so far we have connected the sanction side and the delivery side of the pump. Now we have the foot valve that goes onto the bottom of your chemical tank. Mm -hmm. And this is what we will be installing now. Start with this. It's slightly heavy to ensure that it remains at the bottom of the chemical tank. It also has uh, some mesh to prevent any debris that may be in the chemical tank from getting into your tube. The dosing pump right now as it is, it's ready for installation. We have the foot valve installed, the sanction pipe, the delivery side, 
So then the only part that is remaining is now the connection to the main pipe work where we will be dosing. So we have the adapter here that we will connect to the sanction end. We have connected our delivery pipe ready for connection to the main line. Now, assuming this is your main line, this is where now you connect the dosing pump. As you can see, the daily second chemical dosing unit is simple to use, very accurate, and in most applications that we have used here is to use it for dosage of flocculant and chlorine in uh, most water treatment applications that we have. And one of the ways to control this uh, chemical dosage use it, unit, we have an app, engineer's toolbox, chemical dosage calculator. We have both flocculant and chlorine. These are some of the chemicals that we use widely in water treatment. So it gives you instructions on how to dose your chemical. Put in your flow, let's say 2,000 liters per hour. Select your chemical, whether it's flocculant or chlorine. Required dosage. Now depending on the application, you can put in your dosage let's say one ppm. Then from there, your chemical tank size. So let's say our daily chemical tanks, we have from 100 to 1,000 liters. For now, we can work with 100. So we have our pump setting on the AML circle. The red button guides you on where you've set your system. So whatever setting you put on the dozer is the same one that you put on the app. So we've selected 40 and we will put in 40. From there, we have our chemical concentration. The chemical that we use in drinking water application, our daily chlorine 65 is 65%. So we put in the concentration of chlorine in here. Line pressure. Line pressure, we've seen how to adapt the dosing pump to the line pressure. We can give it one bar. Then we have our pump model the AML, second, then press, calculate. So it guides you and gives you a calculation of how to mix your chemical in the chemical tank. So for a setting of 40% on our dosing pump, our chlorine 65, you mix 153 grams in your 100 liter chemical tank and the pump setting and our pump being AML. So what we have seen here today is the AML, daily seco AML version, which has a manual knob that you get to adjust 40%, 100% according to your liking. But we do have the AMM version that picks an external signal. By external signal, we mean you may be having a pipe that has adjusting flow rate. So you may require to pick a signal for the flow and have the dosing pump automatically adjust the dosage depending on the flow. And that is also available in Davis and Shadow.